All right, uh, my name's Kimomo, and this is my story, Rags to Room. Um, in my life, I've been asked to remember my experience of being formerly house homeless. To be honest, there have been times I've forgotten about this fact, a truth I struggle to cope with. With a society like the United States, we Americans tend to glamorize certain aspects, like being rich over being poor. In the earlier years of living in the Bay Area, I was at an age, I was at the age of six of homelessness on the streets of San Francisco. My mom, who was in her mid thirties, had been going through what she describes as the hardest time of her life. She had uh, just herself and I enrolled into a homeless shelter called the Hamilton. My mother had lived in actual shelters for six months prior, which were dangerous for the distribution of narcotics and actions more devious than the devil. <laughs> While I lived with my grandpa in Stockton, after the six months were up, my mom and I got a house in Oakland and I moved back in and she had a new boyfriend named Carlos who had help financially, but still wasn't enough to stop us from getting evicted from Oakland. Since I was a toddler at the time, my day consisted of waking up at six o'clock, getting my bag ready, empty of any school supplies, and a golden peanut butter sandwich, which was better than the ham sandwiches, which was the opposite of sweet, as well as being cold as a rock. Even though I didn't like sandwiches at the time, sandwiches all the time, it's better than starving. Um, my life would be like this for the next a uh, year from 2007 to 2009, I should say years, but uh, yeah. My mom would struggle to find, uh, struggle to find housing, but eventually stuck, struck gold uh, and was able to get into a program that helps families in, um, in homeless shelters to get them access to public housing. For example, me and my mother ended up getting a house in one of San Francisco's ghettos known as Hunter's Point. Um, on January 29th, 2008, while at my shelter, my mom and I were waiting for one of the staff. We had been accepted into a public housing projects in the southeast uh, end of the city. It seemed like uh, my mom and I were preparing as if we were preparing for a covert mission in the cover of night. Preparing gear in the night with wool blankets and clothes. We all gathered our things together and proceeded into the van. We were accompanied by multiple families who were just as traumatized as the other, as me. Um, like Midnight Riders and the rubber hit the road, we're getting dropped off uh, to their, uh, when the rubber hit the road, people were getting dropped off to their own luxury project neighborhoods and projects. Uh, oddly enough, uh, all these people were just like mom and I. Uh, they didn't have a place to go until now. Maybe they were somewhat abandoned by someone too. Uh, it's hard to believe there were so many people who had the same predicament as me. And yet I was off to my own home. As my mom put it, we just won the lottery ticket. The struggling had finally paid off. When the ran when the van arrived in its destination, mom and I were out the van swiftly. We were off to the voyage, off, we were off our voyage. It was, ref it felt refreshing, as if we were unloading into a country like Cuba, a big container ship disembarking from a long time at sea. Uh, when sailors are adrift for long periods of time, one may begin to miss the land back home. The house was a two-story building it was conjoined with another house as if, a, as if a row stacked on top of each other, as if they were stairs. Um, my mom couldn't be any happier as we arrived to the house and were hastily able to get some sleep. The shelter did not pro provide any beds, so we just slept on the blankets they provided. It was the safest I felt in a while, and I bet it was for my mom too. Um, I, slept, I slept soundly that night at night and not even the bang of a stick of dynamite could wake me. 
It was the next morning, and I awakened to a bright, warm, yellow morning of English muffins and peanut butter. My first bite of the food was gooey but delicious. I even met some of my first friends at a bus stop nearby. A little white boy with his mom, just like me, said hello and turned out to be one of my neighbors. His name is Django. The next 11 years, I still feel the effects of my past and how I survived because of my mom's determination to not let me be raised in her hometown of Stockton. She says, boys my age die of common cause, like being entangled with gangs or drugs. Those aspects are still around me in my home of Hunter's Point, but it's more tame. Um, life for, for now is about trying to better myself and those around me. Uh, it starts usually with yourself. Remembering being homeless makes me humble. Not that I like being homeless, but I do understand it's hard. And for, and for any, it can be a death sentence.